She's not only sat down, she's almost asleep. Here she is. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Oh, here I am again. Good morning, Graham. Morning, how are you? Windy. Oh, you? No, I'm not windy. I'm not windy. No, that would be too much too soon. Too, yeah. Um, but exterior, wind. But it's nice that it's not so cold. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. But I must remember to take my pot plants in because they blow down my twitten. Dear. That sounds like a, a euphemism as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I need to talk to you about one thing. I know this is a first world problem, but can I just say, moths, last year got it together, froze all my nice cashmere jumpers, froze them in the freezer, which is what you meant to do. Why are you looking so... <laughs> And then put them all in moth-free bags. La, 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 la. Yeah. Put them away for the summer, and just got them out, thinking, oh, moths, holes everywhere. How? They're like cockroaches. They will survive a nuclear well, blast. I say. <laughs> you say well, like you're going to well, tell me the I, answer. I would say you didn't leave them in the freezer for long enough. Twenty-four hours. Well, that obviously wasn't long enough. <laughs> How long does it take to freeze a moth egg? Well, uh, more Questions longer than Questions I that. didn't think I would ask this morning. Yeah. But also maybe, because you know the thing with the bed bugs, yes. the bed bugs can lay dormant for years uh, with no food, uh, no nothing. And then it... It's very like me yeah, in that but, respect. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and then suddenly they're back. Well, I mean, it's pointless us trying to wage a war against these That's, creatures. I think you've said a real truth there, Maria. <laughs> it's pointless. It's pointless. Because you just entered some <clears throat> holes in your jumpers. I always got to think, wear them. You can either wear them and go, I love this jumper and I don't care there's a hole in it. Yeah. Or you can throw the jumper away. Yeah. There, there, that's the end. I know, but, you know, cashmere is spendy. It is. It's all right for you, disposable clothes. Well, but... no, but I think if you're going to spend that amount of money on, on something, you've got to, you know, that's them's the risks. Yeah. You know, whereas you buy it's, something cheap it's... as chips, the moth is going, I'm not eating that. <laughs> Yeah. that? I think it's polypropylene all the way from here on in. It's, it's stuff where I have to stand away from fires. That's where I'm going. No more cashmere for me. Um, I just have a recommendation for you. Yes. I mean, on the televisual. Sundays, oh, it's, it's we, not, Sundays we normally do. We're not do. putting our jumpers in the freezer no, anymore. No, no, it's okay. nothing to do with moths. I'm finished with moths now, and they've yeah. finished with me. Or have they? No, they haven't. No, they're they... full. <laughs> they're full right now, and they're going, oh, it's lovely here. My freezer is going to be full later, <laughs> let me tell you, and it won't be full of food. Um, I watched Netflix um, Sky, uh, Sly, not Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I watched lots of television, uh, Graham. Uh, uh, Prime video. Sly, it's about Sly Stallone. Oh, yes. And it's very melancholic and it's very regretful and it's very touching. He's, you know, he's a much deeper thinker than I, I think, certainly I, gave him credit for. Yeah. He talks about, <clears throat> this is this kind of struck me. me. No, yes, he talks about you quite a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, all, all bad. Um, <laughs> no, he talks about having got a success with Rocky, which he really struggled, struggled, struggled. They didn't want to cast him because nobody could understand him, etc. And he said, no, if you give me the money for the film, I won't make it. But he made it. And then instant fame. It was instant fame. And then he said, with fame, which is what he'd struggled for for a long time, with fame, it doesn't just come like that, like sunshine. There's a storm that comes with it. Uh, and the storm is about how precarious it is up there and and the need to stay there because once you get famous, you've got to stay famous, obviously. And he said, and the air is very thin up there and it's also very lonely. And I mean, I was thinking, God, you know, because he's written a lot of films. I don't know whether they've been great or yeah. whatever, but, he, you know, he's a thinker and a writer and a grafter. But I, it's only sort of an hour and 20 minutes long. I really enjoyed it. But I think for him, his fame was so specific, you know, in that he was famous for that one thing, uh, like being a boxer. Da, da, da. Whereas I think if an actor, just any old actor, like, Bradley Cooper or somebody, yeah, yeah. You, you know, then it's about choosing your projects and da, 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 mm. being good in everything. But for him... He had like, to make his own projects. Yeah. So it wasn't just Rocky, of course, it was then Rambo. Yes, because he looked so specific and sounded so specific. Yeah. Uh, so it was going to be harder for him. So I imagine it was more precarious up there, whereas I think most people can kind of coast once they get up there. A lot of those big stars like you know George Clooney Brad Pitt I don't yeah. think they worry in the same way that he no, worried he knew that it was really only ever going to be himself that was providing the work and he's carried on you know he tried comedy that didn't really work out a lot of other films that have bombed he's on Rocky 6 or whatever and sadness in his life that's what I got from that and I I enjoyed him more than I enjoyed Schwarzenegger well I must say he's done the 
chat show a couple of times. And oh, then has I, he? Did you like him? I, I did. And then I met him. I did a launch of Paramount Plus. And... Uh, and it was, you know, the streaming service and they spent a lot of money and they flew in all these American stars. And, you know, American stars were just getting on stage going, going, uh, my show, I play uh, a woman who did, uh, here's a taste of my show. And then they show a clip. And, uh, and Sylvester Sloan was in the wings, just going nuts. He's going, what is wrong with these people? What is wrong? Sell your show, sell it, sell it. And he got up and he sold his show. He was hilarious. He went totally off script. He was just brilliant. Of course, I can't remember what the name of the show was now, but I did watch something. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I can't remember that either. <laughs> no, no. He sold it. That's, that story kind of petered out, didn't it? <laughs> that's not one for the chat show. <laughs> oh, you are the chat show host. You yeah. can say whatever you like. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not in. I'm going to play some music now. Would it, what is it? It's called... Oh, it's called Mental as Anything. Oh, bye? No, that is... The, oh, that's uh, about... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, DJ. Oh, 